In summary, we provided every recorded document for analysis and study during the survey and query of water surface shape on Lake Testamina, Alaska. Please consider watching our presentation. Currently, immense millions of people doubt the Earth is a globe, because the globe is religiously parroted without first-hand knowledge, known as hearsay. This conclusive study settles the controversy, deleting the boundaries between social classes, through affordable and trustworthy science and faith. The spoken audio during the raw footage contains raw errors for record purpose and is not the final conclusion of the study. We are very thankful to be liberally sharing the entire study, as truth is an invaluable possession.
we're getting ready to start the experiment, the pan, and uh, he's going to ride out to, uh, pretty sure it's, yeah, I can't see it through the phone camera, but I'm pretty sure it's that point, but it might be a little further, might be over there. We're going to have to find out. I'll have to look at the picture, but it is just below freezing. So that's in the shade. That's the ambient air temp. So, all right. Got the Moultrie set up. We're going to run the camera.
Yeah, it's going, okay. Got you in the scope. Just um, when you uh, get past that dead zone and into the curve a little bit, can you give me a call? Uh, you won't be able to reply unless I uh, unless you take the earbud out. So don't worry about replying. All right, I'm gonna set the radio down. Give me three. Give me like five. Count to five and then take off because you can't reply to me with the earbud in. So, all right, I'm gonna set this thing down. Count to five and then go. kind of in a dead zone right now so he's gonna stop and we're gonna pick up the phone again um, the radio is only one way I can talk to him he cannot talk to me because uh, the, the headphones that come with the walkies really suck and so we're using our own earphones but when the earphone is in it wants the mic to be on also and it's a dual port system so it doesn't quite work that way 
um, but he can hear me when I talk into the walkie. So when he gets to the point where he can call, I know he's going to call. soaked, but that's okay. Despite it being really sunny outside, it's really flipping cold. It's really cold. Thank you, God, though, for bringing us out here. Very happy to be out here. I'm very happy to be given this last chance to get this right. We've been out here several days now. This will be the fifth day, but only four days we were able to do anything recording-wise. Um, one of the days our sled broke down and we had to, had to recover it. Uh, the kill switch wire, it sounds like, uh, tapped. Anyway, just a family, uh, someone from the past who thought it would be a good idea to Oh, it looks like he's going to maybe call me. I might be able to get this in focus a little better. Okay, that's about as good as I can get. Oh, he's calling again. Oops, oops, oops. Get on the telescope. He's getting ready to call him, but he must not have any service. because my phone shuts off when it gets 32 degrees. It does not like the cold. It doesn't matter if it's 100% or whatever. It just plain shuts off. So. March 31st, and we have more snow on the ground this year in March than I think we've had in a long time, which is, I am so thankful, I thank Jesus, that he, he gave us the weather. I mean, we were way behind, and it's like he stretched, he stretched the calendar for us. Everybody was saying, we want the snow to be gone quicker, Scott and me and, and John both praying that stays. I know that all of us were praying for this to be to be right. Sublimation.
other day we did this, there was no miraging. It's just because the sun's out, uh, which is a bummer. You'll see that in the other videos. He's no further than he was on the other days. That the sun's out, so there's some miraging going on. But if the sun gets covered by the clouds, it'll go away pretty quick because it's really cold out there. We're having a lot of that temperature. Scott, I lost you, man. You disappeared into the mirage because the sun is so bright. Can you hear me? I found you again. Hey, I found you again, okay? I see you. Uh, there's some pretty pretty heavy uh, air distortion today. I mean, it's worse than uh, any other day that we've been out here, unfortunately. Sun in the sky. Um, so cold. All right, uh, go ahead and go on. I, I, I found you again. We'll just keep going. I can still see you. I lost you for a moment. Like, you kind of... Like, you're out pretty far, but there is a... I am have I have some mirroring, so, like, I can see two of you, but one's upside down, the other one... I can see two of you, technically, but, uh... It's a little bit of miraging, which sucks, because this is the first day that it's been like this, but... Um, it's because of the heat snow. I mean, the sublimation is really bad right now because of that sun. Uh, yeah, let me get my gloves on real quick before you continue. And, um, because my hands are free. Uh, temp reads, uh, well, actually, that's why the temp is now above, uh, it's now above freezing. Actually, it could be because it's sitting next to my clothes, but... Alright. Go ahead.
I still got you. The, the problem is, is that there's a uh, inferior mirage happening. So it's like you're inverted. Like I can see you and the inversion, which is really obnoxious, but I mean, it's not going to go away unless the sun gets covered up. So. It's like the sun's starting to Scott, there's a cloud coming in front of the sun right now. Hold on. Just wait. How far are you? Let's see. You must be almost to the Udalhova tree. Yeah, it is. Um. I did lose you, and I lost you completely, but I see that the sun is getting covered up, and it's going to start dropping in temp pretty quick. Um, yeah, I don't know, it's, it's like it's supposed to be 37, the later it gets. The later it gets. Can you ride back? Because the miraging is like somewhat, like I'm not worried about the heat as much as I'm worried about the direct sunlight. Um, head back to where? Head back to, uh, just head back to me. Head away? Yeah, come on back. Alright, I'm just gonna have to do that. Sorry about that. I mean, I can't. All right, let me get my scope set up real quick. I've got it panned all the way to the side. Get over there and off the lake, stop and pull. 
service. Yep, all right. Yep, I got you on the scope. Go ahead.
I can hear you. I'm watching. I'm watching. I'm. I, yeah, I still got you. I'm gonna want to switch. I'm gonna switch some. I'm going to want to switch to my Barlow lens soon, but we're okay for now. It's really nice because I can see the shore behind you since you're on the lake still. Alright, Scott, I've got a question. Can you uh, can you find a place to just kind of stop? If you're on the lake, that would be preferred if you feel comfortable. And uh, I like to switch lenses.
I think, I think I've got you. You're kind of a... Okay, can you move forward a little bit, maybe? How much are you moving around? Are you like driving in circles? Oh, See, the thing is, is if you're too far away, I get that you might be driving in circles, but you'd be so far away. I think I'm looking at you driving in circles, but. Well, um, let me just look a little bit more just to make sure. That's probably you, but... I found you. Okay, okay. I did find you. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You're going to have to you're going to have to go a little slower than you have been just because the wind is kind of shaky and I'm kind of shaky and All right. Go for it though. One second. One th okay, okay. I got you. I got you. Scott, slow down, because I need to find you, you kind of, you kind of ripped and, um, one second, I'm having, okay, one second, I'll find you.
thing is, is we got the time lapse and uh, we got it documented. So.
All right, man. Okay, let me. Spin back in my throat again. I'll let you know when you get into my scope. You got to go forward about another uh, 100 feet before you're in. Then I'm going to find you on the scope and then we'll take off. Stop right there. All right. Uh, let me find you real quick. Hey, just a heads up. Your phone call dropped in that dead zone area. So hold on. Wait a moment, because I'm going to get you on the scope, so just hold still. All right. I got you in the scope. Just um, when you uh, get past that dead zone and into the curve a little bit, can you give me a call? Uh, you won't be able to reply unless I uh, unless you take the earbud out, so don't worry about replying. He didn't answer me. Leave me a message. All right, I'm gonna set the radio down. Give me three. Give me like five. Count to five and then take off because you can't reply to me with the earbud in. So, all right, I'm gonna set this thing down. Count to five and then go. You can go, yep. He's kind of in a dead zone right now. 
so he's gonna stop and we're gonna pick up the phone again um the radio is only one way i can talk to him he cannot talk to me because uh the the headphones that come with the walkies really suck and so we're using our own earphones but when the earphone is in it wants the mic to be on also and it's a dual port system so it doesn't quite work that way um but he can hear me when i talk into the walkie so when he gets to the point where he can call i know he's gonna call My knees are going to get soaked, but that's okay. Despite it being really sunny outside, it's really flipping cold. It's really cold. Thank you, God, though, for bringing us out here. I'm very happy to be out here. I'm very happy to be given this last chance to get this right. We've been out here several days now. This will be the fifth day, but only four days we were able to do anything, recording-wise. Um, one of the days our sled broke down and we had to, had to recover it. Uh, the kill switch wire, it sounds like, uh, tapped. Anyway, just a family, uh, someone from the past who thought it would be a good idea to Oh, it looks like he's getting ready to call me. I might be able to get this in focus a little better. Right there. It's about as good as I can get. Oh, he's going again. Oops, oops, oops. Get on the telescope. I'm getting ready to call him, but he must not have any service. can't take my phone out of my balclava because my phone shuts off when it gets 32 degrees it does not like the cold it doesn't matter if it's a hundred percent or whatever it just plain shuts off so The snow is getting really bad. So it's March 31st, and we have more snow on the ground this year in March than I think we've had in a long time, which is, I am so thankful. I thank Jesus that he, he gave us the weather. I mean, we were way behind, and it's like he stretched, he stretched the calendar for us. Everybody was saying, we want the snow to be gone quicker, and Scott and me, and and John both praying that it stays. I know that all of us were praying for this to be to be right. See that sublimation.
I'm sure he's in the area where he's got to go up really high right now. That's why he's up by the tree line. Now every other day we did this, there was no miraging. It's just because the sun's out, um, which is a bummer. You'll see that in the other videos. He's no further than he was on the other days, except that the sun's out, so there's some miraging going on. But if the sun gets covered by the clouds, that'll go away pretty quick because it's really cold out here. We're having a lot of that temperature inversion because of the sun and the cold snow. Whereas Oh crap, I dropped my phone in the snow. Hey Scott, I lost you man. You disappeared into the mirage because the sun is so bright. Can you hear me? I found you again. Hey, I found you again, okay? I see you. One second. There's uh there's some pretty pretty heavy uh air distortion today. I mean it's worse than uh, any other day that we've been out here, unfortunately. The sun in the sky. Um it's so cold. Alright, uh go ahead and go on. I, I I found you again. We'll just keep going. All right, I can still see you. I lost you for a moment. Like you kind of, like you're out pretty far, but there is a, I'm have, I have some mirroring. So like I can see two of you, but one's upside down. The other, I can see two of you technically, but uh, there's a little bit of miraging, which sucks because this is the first day that it's been like this, but. Um, it's because of the heat on the snow. I mean, the sublimation's really bad right now because of that sun. Alright, well, you want me to keep going then, yeah? Yeah, let me get my gloves on real quick before you continue. And, um, because my hands are free. Well, actually, it could be because it's sitting next to my clothes, but... Alright. Go ahead. Yeah, the walkie-talkie ain't working with the crap. We, I, 
The only reason I stopped is because I heard like interference. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Well, it's good you stopped because. Yeah, that was the bad So that's where the bad is. <laughs> Yeah, I still got you. The the problem is is that there's a uh, inferior mirage happening. So it's like you're inverted. Like I can see you and the inversion, which is really obnoxious, but I mean it's not going to go away unless the sun gets covered up. So Speaking of which, I said, speaking of which, it's almost like the sun's starting to. Yeah, I lost you, by the way. I don't know where you're at. It's it's the mirage, dude. It's so, it's so hard to. Like you disappeared into it and then you came out of it. There's very heavy miraging right now. Hey Scott, there's a cloud coming in front of the sun right now. Hold on. Just wait. How far are you? Let's see. You must be almost to the Udelhoven tree. Um, yeah, yeah, it's coming up. Yeah, it is. Um, hold on. Let me, uh, because I did lose you, and I lost you completely, but I see that the sun is getting covered up, and it's going to start dropping, and pretty quick um yeah I don't know it's, it says it's supposed to be 37 the later it gets later it gets yeah hmm. <sighs> well Can you ride back? Because the miraging is like somewhat, like I'm not worried about the heat as much as I'm worried about the direct sunlight. Um, head back to where? Head back to, uh, just head back to me. All the way? Yeah, come on back. All right, I'm just gonna. That's all I can do. All right. Helmet on. The temp's risen. We're getting mirage
beam was hitting the tree where Scott got silhouetted. You could see it up against this tree. That's uh, this is that tree. There's Caribou Island across the way. And we're about halfway, a little, little less than halfway looking directly across that caribou. Yeah. All right. That's Caribou Island over there. It's kind of hard to see it. Right, right there. It sticks out from the lake quite a bit. This is about, yeah, I don't know. We'll figure it out after. I don't know how many miles. I'm gonna take this ball of off. It's just getting in the way. I'm gonna put this battery, I was, uh, <clears throat> That's pretty cool, the snow geese. Oh, yeah. The plane, that was cool, too. Oh, yeah. I right. thought he was going to... video ended. All right, well, sorry. The video ended, but we're still here. I don't know why it ended. Shouldn't have. I might have bumped it. I think he did land. Yeah. Oh, dude, look at that. Visibility is getting better. Um, hold on. Scott, can you shove this in here real quick? Huh? In that pocket. All right, just was, it was bouncing out. All right. Where are them geese at? <laughs> Zoom in on those real quick. Honk. Anyway, that's the tree. I mean, we're on water level. The Udelhoven tree is, I mean, you can see the water coming out right there. So we're maybe, maybe four feet off the water. You know, you can see the ice lap here. If you look down there. Yeah, we're about four feet off the water. Here at the Udelhoven tree. Okay. Yeah, dude, that's good. Yeah.
we just passed Caribou Island. And here was Scott's campfire that he made. Yeah, dude. So this is good. So we are we are literally just right past Caribou. You can actually see the end of the island. Yeah, um, it's like right over there. And if we look straight off the lake, we're looking. Uh, yeah, I mean we're several. <laughs> we're quite a ways past the end of it, actually. So that's 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 good to know. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, shoot. It was kind of dark. But how high are we off the water here? Let's see. Three feet, four feet. Well, no, we're. That's water line right there. So we're. I'll walk down and I'll keep the camera at my eye level. I'm my eyes are probably at five foot nine or five foot ten. I'm six two. I don't know, I got a big forehead. Alright, here is the ice. It's at eye level. So we're, uh, let's see if I bring it down. Yeah, shoot, we aren't really all that high. You're maybe, you're maybe three and a half feet. Yeah. Uh, all right, yeah. Okay, I, f uh, I keep it in the power button. That's why it keeps turning off. Anyway, yeah, ice cracks, three and a half feet or so off the, off the water. I wish I could lock the uh, lock the thing so it wouldn't shut the video off. What's up? Oh, you were standing right there. Yeah. All right, so that's literally where Scott was standing. This is where the sled was. Yeah, you can see you can see the exhaust where the sled was running when I had the headlight on for the target, and the target sat no two feet ahead of it. But that's from the exhaust from the sled running. This is from me standing here. Yeah, that little fire over there. I mean, that's you know a little bit higher. But, and then looking straight down there is where the beam was coming. You know, these are the same trees that was coming right through, and I could see the beam right to the laser. Yeah. Yep, those are the, the, the trees the laser was coming through. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it might, like, seriously, he's only about three feet up, so. I mean, and he's standing here. Uh, so, all right. All right. Well, you ready to go onwards? Yeah. All right. This time I'll try not to hit that power button. <laughs> <laughs> well, thankfully, every time I've hit it, it's in the spots where we need to be. <laughs> like where it doesn't matter if it gets hit. But...
Yeah, those rocks kind of killed it. I know, I know. It's hard. That was action. Sorry. Oh, it can't be. I don't be, want to go that way. It can't be helped. I mean, this is just what it is. <laughs> I'm all right. I didn't. All right. Yeah, I just. The beat's still going.
All right, so this is the 14 mile mark here. Scott, why don't you tell me where you were? I don't know, right where you just was. Oh, right here. Okay, so this is where he was standing. And then here's the, uh, yep, this is the tree. That's the target there. It's, uh, obviously it's been, uh, <clears throat> been touched a little bit, but ripped or something since, yeah, stuff doesn't last forever. There's the little tape on the small tree there. Now from water level, I'm going to walk down so you get an idea of the height. If you look down, that's actually the shore right there. So right here, you can actually see the ice crack. This is water right here. This is just shore ice from it breaking up and then being washed forward, breaking up and then being washed forward. But this is same same level as over there. Okay, I'm gonna put it at eye height. And at eye height, this is Scott right there. I'm looking, if I look out straight, I'm looking at his belly button. So, you know, I'm standing on the ice. My eyes are like five foot eight or something like that. I'm six yeah. two. And in the video you can see. I uh, one sec, let me get closer because I don't know if they'll be able to hear you from that far. Yeah, yeah. In the video you can see the laser all the way down here. Yeah. Even from whatever I mean so all that was illuminated and so was so it was right here. So realistically, right here is like it's supposed to be like and a half. Yeah. You know, maybe. Yeah, and uh, there's. But, uh, you know, we got these berms here, so that you yeah. know it's gonna block some of the lasers and. Yeah. Uh, the. That's a real slick laser shoes. Yeah, they got kind of big, but. But uh, yeah, I mean, like, uh, you know, being able to see the beam. And it hit the ground here. Not just see it, but see that it's hitting the ground here, guys. Man, he don't, would have been... Careful, there's the power button. You don't hit that. Oh, okay. There's the readout. Readout's right there. Okay, see that black knob? Just to the left of that is where that laser was, roughly. I, I mean, I can't exactly, let's, but let's in zoom comparison, in. we can compare the videos. All right. You think you can point with your finger where it's at? Yeah. Okay. There's the black knob. There's those white little hills. Over. Ah, oh, shoot. Oh my gosh, I'm terrible. It's all right. It's, it's, hard, it's hard to see the cell phone screen. It is. It's okay. Well, just. It's over there. Okay, right there. Those those white hills here on the on the left of the screen. Let's see if I can get my finger in there. On the left of the screen, in between that black knob and those white hills is where that laser was, right under his finger kinda once it goes out of focus. Yeah. These white little hills and that knob there. Right between there, roughly. And that's that's 14.1 miles away because we are on point this is uh i think this is called point lake and if we ride up there right on the other side of this actually if we were to ride in a little bit there's a lake here it's not far ah uh. But we'd have to ride in just a little bit, and I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. Anyway, well, here we are. That's the 14 mile ride. And yeah, I mean, this is realistically, he's only, you know, at most eight feet off the ground here, off the water. At the highest. And that's his eyes, and like the beams hitting down there. Not only that, but he could actually see me adjusting the laser in the direction it was pointing yeah i had to i had to i had to provide the target with the headlight and then 
as you can see in the video, the laser is kind of going all through the woods, and I was telling them, you know, left or right or whatever, to uh, get it on my body when I'm when I took the video, pointing at my feet and stuff. I had him hold it, and I mean, I could see it too. <laughs> yeah, I could see his headlight from over. I mean, uh, literally, I could just see the headlight, and let alone the laser. So. Well, those white, those white hills are where we come in. I mean, we can see that right here. You can see it in the video even, too. Those white hills are where we come in on the snow machine. And that's... Let me zoom in so you guys get a better idea. But, I mean, I know exactly where he's talking about. It's just to the right. That's a readout right there. And see those white hills there? That's where I'm at. Except I'm standing on the water over there 14 miles away. So, yeah, here we are. If we were to keep going, uh, we'd end up at uh, the mouth of the glacier where the water feeds in. So, I mean, we're about we're about five miles away from there, but you know, five and a half, but. Yeah, all right. Well, we're going to head back. And uh, I'm going to record the whole way back anyway, so. Yeah. That's so the snow. We came. Uh, we saw. And, uh, yeah. It's flat. The lake's flat. All right. Um... Yeah, let's uh, let's uh, let's go. <laughs> let's get scooting. The snow's coming. Yeah, I see. Uh, I'm not really stoked about that. I, I don't hope. think because look at look at that right there. That's already socking in right there, uh -huh, and that's yeah. only quarter half mile. Yeah, we might get a shot at this if it clears, but on the way back. But all right. Yeah. I mean, look at the visibility. The visibility is already way better, but... Yeah, but this is it. Um, look, look at this. I know, I know. I can see the snow. I'm hoping it misses us, so... It's not going to. I mean, it's... Look at this. It's just... It's just socking in. It's going there. across the lake pretty good. Yep. All right, let's get back. See if we can beat it. I don't think we can, but... Go ahead and turn around. Actually, Point Lake, I'm sorry, Point Lake's over there. This is the 14 mile mark, so we're actually past Point Lake. Point Lake is actually uh, on the point that we came to. My bad, it's over there. I'm a, I'm a moron sometimes. Everyone is, everybody makes errors. That's That's how we know.
back at camp. All right. Well, in the sunlight, it's awfully warm. In the sun. All right. Well, he's got service. Yep, all right. Yep, I got you on the scope. Go ahead. Must have hit a big bump.
Yeah, I can hear you. I'm watching. I'm watching. I'm. I... Yeah, I still got you. I'm gonna want to switch. I'm gonna switch them. To... I'm gonna want to switch to my Barlow lens soon. But we're okay for now. It's really nice because I can see the shore behind you since you're on the lake still. All right, Scott. I've got a question. Can you uh can you find a place to just kind of stop? If you're on the lake, that would be preferred if you feel comfortable. And uh I like to switch lenses. Yeah, I stop right here. Okay. Hold on. Let me get you in the center. All right, hold on. Let me uh, very carefully. So let me get an idea. There's like a, you're like kind of next to a tree there. Let's see if I can bring you into focus a little better. Yeah, I can. Okay. Let me get you off here. Can you point the sled towards me? So, I think that's you, but I'm not sure. It's hard to see the screen, and you know, it's hard to think about these things and, and follow what's going on at the same time. That's all. Man, the wind is blowing hard. It's 
making it. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Um, I think, I think I've got you. You're kind of a... Okay, can you move forward a little bit, maybe? Um, how much are you moving around? Are you like driving in circles? See, the thing is, is if you. I, I get that you might be driving in circles, but you'd be so far away. I think I'm looking at you driving in circles, but... Well... Um... Let me just look a little bit more, just to make sure... Because that's probably you, but... Yeah, let me look. It's really hard with the three times barley lens into. Huh? Oh, it's just with this lens in, it's really. Oh, I found you. Okay, okay, I did find you. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to go a little slower than you have been, just because the wind is kind of shaky and I'm kind of shaky. And all right, go for it though. One second, one second. Okay, okay, I got you. I got you. Hey Scott, slow down, cause I need to find you. You kind of, you kind of ripped and. Um... One second, I'm having. Okay, one sec. I'm gonna find you. Do you think you can do those figure eights again out on the lake? Yeah. Hold on. I don't know why this is doing this. I'm getting like... I'm getting some serious movement on my scope, which wasn't good. Oh, it's the wind, dude. wind was blowing my scope, that's what it was. Shoot. Are you stopped? Yeah. Okay, can you go forward real quick? Mm. Are you like near the shore or, or are you uh, on the lake some? 
The thing is, is there's no mirage. It's just, uh... All right, well, I'm having a heck of a time finding you again, so. Um, what happened was, is the wind shook the scope. It actually moved the, uh, it moved my scope. It blew hard enough that it, it turned it. But, anyway. I'm looking for you. I just, uh, all right, just come back. Uh, we're done. We're gonna call it because uh, the wind keeps actually moving my scope, dude. So, what's up? Uh, just come on back and we'll pack up and go because um, the wind, the wind is, the wind is literally turning my scope every now and then. Yeah, it's, it's pretty darn windy right now, but yeah. Um, well, all right, I guess. Well, the thing is, is we got the time lapse and. Uh, we got it documented, so... And I got you at the Udelhoven tree the other day, so... Yeah. Alright, that's where the telescope was set up. It's a little bit further down from the last one.
mean, yeah, just like we'll park like right here. It's the best we're going to be able to do. Oh, that too, yeah. We can pick it up. 